Hi you guys, this is Danielle. I am the founder of the T-Bar Method Hair Extensions. It currently has a patent on it and I wanted to kind of enlighten you a little bit more about this since it's a newer method on the market today. So let's get to the basics really quick and touch base with those so we can kind of all understand everything. There are two different categories in the market um, or were two different categories in the market today. Um, number one is the temporary method, which is going to be clip-ins. Okay, these are temporary because you have to take them out every night. You cannot wash your hair with these in them, and that is that. They've been around for a really long time. Um, the second method of temporary type of hair extensions are the halos. These you have to take out every day as well. You don't need to wash them. I mean, you don't want to wash them with your normal hair. Um, now, let's talk about the permanent. There are a lot of different things out there for permanent. And when they say permanent, that means, number one, somebody else needs to put them in your hair for you. And number two, they need to take them out of your hair for you. Um, People might say, oh, well, they're semi-permanent because they can be taken out. Yes, they can be taken out, but you can't do them yourself. You have to get them taken out. So they're permanent until you go and pay somebody to take them out. That's why there are two different categories. Um, I found that I've, well, I know I've been hooked on hair extensions from 2006 onwards, ever since the first time I got some for my wedding. I have calculated, I have spent almost $12,000 on hair extension methods myself. Not for my company, but on myself before I started my company, um, the T-Bar method. So I can definitely say I've tried every method out there. Um, I don't wear wigs or lace wigs, but anything that is attached to your scalp um, and hidden underneath, I have tried those methods because I've been addicted and I have found a void. Um, in the marketplace uh, for hair extensions, and that is exactly why I created the T-Bar method. So as I told you before, there's the temporary, and then there are the permanent hair extensions. Well, I have created this new category in hair extensions, and that is definitely the semi-permanent. And the reason why I consider mine the only one to be semi-permanent is because you can install them yourself, and you can remove them yourself, and you can retighten them yourself, all because we include a toolkit in every set. And literally, it can be up to you if you feel, I am a total do-it-yourselfer, I wanna try these by myself. Or, I wanna have my stylist do it, it's great that it only takes 15, 20 minutes to install, um, it's up to you. Everybody's different in their capabilities of doing things. But so, that is the one reason why I, it is considered a semi-permanent method is because you can take them in and out, retighten them whenever you need. So that makes it really nice. The first in the industry is to have that toolkit that supplies that. Number two is because of my patent pending T-bar method, um, the attachment allows you to do those as well. So this is the T-bar method. If you see here, if hair when hair is inside, it's going to yeah, it's hard to show this with it sliding around. Okay, so when hair's in there, it's really tight, nice up to the top. Um, this is a silicone line bead that we've got going on here, and you can retighten them. I wanted convenience. Those were my check marks for creating this method. If I couldn't meet my check marks, then I wasn't going to do it. Number one, I wanted something that was affordable. Because I have thin hair, clip-ins never worked for me. I don't care how many, how much you can rat your hair. If you have thin hair or if you have a toddler, your clip-ins are not gonna work and you're just gonna get frustrated and you're probably gonna get a lot of damage on your hair. Number, re number reason number two is clip-ins I cannot put up in a ponytail. The gym is a big part of my life, a big outlet for me and I did not like having to take them in and out all the times. So if that was out, halos were out for me. I didn't like those either, but they were the most affordable, so they are definitely the most popular, 
And so I knew I needed to keep something in the affordable range so people would try it. And I wanted that. I wanted everybody to feel beautiful in whatever way they wanted, um, whether it be by hair extensions or nails or eyelash extensions. Mine is definitely hair extensions. And I feel once you have kids, once you get older, sometimes you're just born with genetics, sometimes you have a thyroid issue. Um, I think uh, hair is a vital part for women. Makeup and, and hair definitely are the everyday accessories that if you don't love your hair, um, it's, it, it shows. And so those definitely are the main reason why I created the T-Bar Method is I wanted to compete with clip-ins and halos um, to be as affordable as them. And then the next one was the low maintenance. I really wanted that. After becoming a mother, I realized that I was spending a lot of time and money on the permanent hair methods and that was really getting frustrating because everybody's hair grows and so we needed to find something else that we could still handle and take care of and and that's why a simple yet useful toolkit in every set makes it really nice for those few that maybe loosen a little bit faster than the other ones that you can do that yourself the next one is a secure attachment i talked about that with my clip-ins is um putting them in a ponytail. I think every woman throws their hair up a ponytail, throws them, their hair up in a ponytail. At the end of the day, working out, whatever. You don't want to be, life is not a photo shoot. Like your hair is just not, you just have things to do, you're busy. Uh, so having a secured attachment is very important. Um, the next one is the versatile and that goes hand in hand with having a secure attachment is you need it versatile. You need to be able to throw your hair up and throw it down. So that is really what spurred me to make the T-Bar method. I'm going to show you right here just so you can really see. Is we took the um, temporary method and we grabbed the affordable and the practical part of the temporary methods. And then we took the permanent methods and we grabbed the secure and the versatile part of that aspect of it. And we created the T-Bar method. Now I'm going to create more videos and talk to you a lot more about this method because we are expanding our lines um, and it is so exciting. So stay tuned and please write a comment, share this with anybody you know that has interest in hair extensions and want to, wants to get more informed about hair extensions or just beauty aspects or women that just want it, um, want something to do with hair extensions. Uh, I appreciate you sharing that and, and liking my video. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.